What's it like to attend the real fame school? That's what Hollywood would have you believe, but I know better. I'm a graduate of LaGuardia High School of Music and Art and Performing Arts in New York City, class of 1988, drama major. But now, instead of acting, stock certainly did sell off with I find myself reporting on Wall Street for a living. During my time at the high school, there was no dancing on the rooftops of cars stalled in traffic or spontaneous jam sessions in the cafeteria for a 14-year-old Brooklyn girl from a blue-collar family with a passion for acting, it was the opportunity of a lifetime. And it was completely free. I was in some pretty good company. The long list of famous alumni includes Al Pacino, Adrian Brody, Isai Morales, and Jennifer Aniston. Jen was a fellow classmate and drama major. And yes, she was pretty and popular even back then. But for every Aniston and Pacino, there are hundreds more who were never touched by fame and chose a different path. They're the nurses, teachers, and bankers who were better for having spent time at LaGuardia High School. Here I am in Shakespeare's Comedy of Errors. The opportunity to get inside a character's skin taught me more about human behavior than any sociology class ever could. Sure, it was hard work, but it was a lot of fun, too. Just because it was an art school didn't mean they went soft on academics. There was chemistry, calculus, and English lit in the morning, followed by drama, dance, and voice and diction in the afternoon. In fact, it was my voice and diction teacher, Bill Britton, who first suggested I consider a career in broadcasting. Thanks, Mr. Britton. Nearly 30 years ago, the original fame film became a cultural touchstone for Gen Xers. Now, a glossy, updated version hopes to do the same for a new generation. In fact, today, we see a growing number of public performing arts schools across the country. Yet sadly, when school budgets are slashed, arts programs are usually the first to go. My performing arts education taught me about taking chances and having a thick skin. It made me a better storyteller, a skill I use every day as a broadcast journalist. I may not be headlining at the box office or have my name up in lights, but what I did get out of my education at the real fame school was a perfect dress rehearsal for life.